What's going on, guys? So check this out right here. Got a 3D printed Velociraptor resonating chamber. And this was sent to me by 3D Forged over on Instagram last week. Uh, he sent it to me and asked me if I could uh, make a post on Instagram, you know, sort of promoting it for him. And uh, I told him that I would do you one better and I will customize one over on my YouTube channel. So that's what I'm going to do today. Now, this thing is pretty cool because it's actually a real working whistle. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate it for you because blowing a whistle into a microphone is fun for nobody. So take my word for it. It sounds like a whistle and it's actually pretty cool. So if you are interested in picking one up for yourself to either display or customize, his Etsy store will be in the description box below. And you can use the code Ted Brothers for 10% off of your order. So now, on to the customizing. So if you're going to buy this thing and just keep it on your shelf as is, be totally fine, you know. But if you're going to customize it and paint it, because it's a 3D printed piece, it has those little ridges, the little print ridges on it, right? Little print lines. So we got to get rid of those and we got to get this surface smooth in order to um, paint it, make it look sort of weathered and realistic. So for that, I'm going to take some fine grit sandpaper first. And I'm going to go over this thing real quick and smooth down any of these little rough uh, print lines. And now I'm going to take some Bondo glazing putty here. This is for like automotive repair. And I'm going to get a big blob out here on this little plate. And I'm going to start filling in all those little gaps with the Bondo. Now my main goal doing this is to fill in the print lines, right? Um, but I also want to create some texture on the piece itself to kind of give it a weathered kind of bone look. So um, I'm going to let this harden. 24 hours until it's rock solid and then I'll go back over it again with some uh, fine grit sandpaper just to clean it up a little bit but not do too much you know I want to keep it I want to make it look like it's chipped faded old looking piece of bone right so I'm going to keep some of those little lines and ridges that I've created with the Bondo on that just to give it some texture so now we're going to go in with Krylon Fusion Satin White we're going to give this thing a primer slash base coat of white just like this right here and now i'm going to go in with model masters sand because i want this to look like a sun bleached hunk of bone right so that's the whole vibe that i'm going for so this uh, sand color uh, is a really great looking representation of uh, bone so i'm going to apply it with my airbrush do a couple of thin coats on this thing and then i'm going to seal it with a uh, an acrylic satin sealer and that's just going to lock everything into place but it's also going to provide a smooth surface for me to do uh, what I'm going to do next and that is wash the model so the wash I'm going to be using is the Citadel uh, Reichland flesh shade and uh, this is what it looks like here you see me use it before in the videos you know and um, what I'm going to do is get a big old fat washing brush here and I'm just going to start washing it all over the model and letting it get down into all the little nooks and crannies and the details and then once the wash has dried a little bit i'm going to go in with this uh, high-tech tool here and this is the paper towel and i'm going to wipe away all of the wash from the raised surfaces uh, exposing that bone color underneath and leaving that uh, flesh wash down in all the little recesses and the little shadow areas going to create the illusion that it's sort of dirty and weathered and um, I'm going to work at this and you can kind of play around with it. You can wipe a little bit off if you need more wiped off, you know, dip some the paper towel in some water and scrub a little bit harder. But uh, this right here looks good to me. I'm happy with the way that this has turned out so far. So now it's time to seal it up with some matte varnish to really uh, bring that shine down to flatten it out and to really give it that dull weathered bone effect. And that is pretty much going to do it for this custom. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in buying one of these Raptor whistles, the link to the Etsy store will be in the description box below. Remember to use the promo code Ted Brothers for 10% off your purchase. If you need some more Jurassic Park related content, you know where to find me. Links will be in the description box below. You guys take care and I'll see you in the next video.